Hello Aquarius, it's time for your reading for January to February this current year. Hooray, you've made it. Or some shit. I don't know. It's really up to you what you've made. But I have a new deck for us to mess with. What's the new deck you might be asking me? It is this one and it is the Starman Tarot deck by David De Angelis, I think his name is. He, inspired by the artwork he created for David Bowie. He was one of my favorite musicians growing up. Special place in my heart. He might just be the original alien. Fuck all the mother bitches. <laughs> He's definitely my favorite person. Let's start with that one since it flipped over. But yeah, the images are really cool. And I'll be clarifying with my Shadowscape deck too. That is The Lovers. The World Reversed. Like someone's fighting against the world with that image. Five of Swords Reversed. Ew. Queen Princess of Swords. Two of Cups Reversed. Nine of Cups and the beginning theme is da, 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 the Chariot. Steel and we will begin shifting the shadow ski. Okay, so Chariot, right? Someone's ready to charge in with some action. Someone's ready to get some shit started. Someone might even know which direction to go with them. Might be going ahead despite all obstacles ahead of them. Or stuff that should be distracting them to keep them from going off a cliff. Really doesn't matter. Either way, they're just going on until they get to where they want to go. No matter what. They're not at the desperation rate yet, but they're still staying focused on their goal. I'll say. So we got the lovers over here, right? Could also be a Gemini. There might be a coming together or a swooning of two people trying to come together to bond. Could also be some sort of pairing, really. Oh, double energy, except it's reversed. So it's just like, yeah, that didn't work out too well. Like someone's in love, but they can't be with the person they're in love with. And down here, this princess of swords, right? Who is on the lookout for information. Maybe someone feels like they don't have their soulmate. But she's giving up with that information. We have the world reversed. As in a cycle is not complete. Like someone's fighting against the world or something. Because they weren't willing to change their ways. Mind you, this is karmatic, I think. Yeah, the world is very karmatic. It's like a cycle didn't end properly. Or it's not complete just yet. Like, there's something else here. Then we have the two accounts reversed, where there was definitely separation between the two individuals. Um, but something did not mix well, and it came apart. Like, is someone trying to go against the world to stop the cycle from ceasing because they don't want to change? Or they don't want something to end? You know, the whole going against the world thing. Basically fighting for the sake of fighting. That rebellious status that a lot of Aquarians develop, right? Like, someone's going against the grain just to prove a point. That they don't need to change, almost. That they won't accept what is needed. They're very much against it. But the separation of colors right here. There's two cups, I feel. That's a good way to put it. Separation of colors. They're not as blended as they were. In fact, they never really meshed at all. Um, patience. Possibly with the Sagittarius. There might have been a separation with somebody who had patience. 
That's what's going against you. The lack of wanting to communicate still and come together. Like, it be, it's weird. There's a lot of dual meanings here. Like, this is could be considered alchemy. These two colors coming together. Right? Which is the same instance as this. Um, but it could be somebody coming together with somebody else. Because, like, oh dear. You come back here. There is still this yellow, this gold present, but the colors are different. This is red and this is blue. There might be somebody meshing another way somehow. Maybe you have to learn to mesh with yourself on a higher plane as well. You'll get that philosophical side actually in you. Then we have the Five of Swords up here and the Fears and Rejections, right? And it's in reverse. So it's like someone is really, 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 really sorry that they stabbed someone in the back and like left them in the ocean to bleed to death. Um, but they're still moving on to calmer waters. Or maybe they're afraid that that memory of what happened is going to come back to follow them. Because they were just moving on. I don't see them stopping anytime soon. And there was this Nine of Cups where someone's getting exactly what they wished for. And are just living it up. They're getting some rest and relaxation from it. Four of Swords. They are just chilling out. Taking a break. Not even indulging in like all the bullshit. Right? With the ending theme being Page of Swords. Libra... Gemini, Aquarius, yourself, right? Still having that information and you're moving ahead despite what'll come in front of you, right? No matter what happens, you're still going to be moving forward. It might take, you might not have all the information you're looking for, but you're still moving ahead regardless. You're not paying attention to whatever is going to distract you from it. You are going to get past this no matter what. Like, even in your fears and rejections, you're still moving forward. You're still going about doing things. It's just weird because it's just like there's like this connection here. And someone feels scorned over it. I feel like with the two, with the, with the lovers, and then just giving up on shit just to take off. It's just kind of like, you know... People are so scared of getting their feelings hurt anymore, I swear. Ten of Swords Reverse. Still feeling a backstab in you. Still feeling, like, plighted. Still feeling tangled in it. Like, having a hard time getting away from it entirely. Like, it's hard for you to completely cut ties with that. To the point where it hurts you when you think about it, but if you don't concentrate, it doesn't bother you as much. But it is going away. It's just taking longer than what you thought. What? Was that a kitty? I think it was a kitty. Why are you guys nice with each other in the bed? Because you know it's sleepy time. That's why. Six of Cups reverse straight here. I feel like someone's letting their bad memories of something come in the way. Like, I feel like someone's... I feel like someone is trying to go against the world and, like, stop something. And I feel like they don't want to be back within this relationship. And that's why they're trying to cut ties so much. They just want to give up on it. But it seems like there's a possibility that the universe will bring somebody in regardless. Maybe not the same person, but it might be just be the different energy. And then we have the Six of Pentacles reverse, which is, like, a lack of balance. Possibly even dealing with Libra if it has to be, because he's got that little pipe. Right? Like, there's some unbalance going on with this whole wanting to, like, move away from this regret of betrayal and, like, trying to get everything you want while not, while reflecting on things. It's just, there's not a balance here. Like, how does moving forward with these, like, feelings right here, sleeping through all of it, because the chick's asleep on a swan, I think it is, how is, like, ignoring 
as you sleep away on this journey to move ahead, how does it help you to ignore the Five of Swords reversed? In order, how does that help you? In regards to getting whatever you want while you just sit there and mull things over later. Like, what makes you think that you will get everything you wished for while you're ignoring what's here in front of you? Is what I feel like a little bit. That's a bit of imbalance. And I think there might have to be a choice to... I don't know. Like, there might have to be a choice. It might be trying to invest in this portion right here, and that might be what's the most out of whack. You might have to actually work on something you really don't want to approach. I don't think you could just move away from this and think, oh, well, this isn't going to work for me. Like, I mean, like, that's not how it works. You know, that's not how it works. I think you guys, what, you guys are ruled by Saturn too, so you already know that at some point things do catch up, right? It just takes a little bit longer for, like, Aquarius because Saturn tends to favor Capricorns. Because we're the ones that always get noticed doing shit. So you're lucky. You get to go out and do whatever the fuck you want because you're the youngest. And we have to sit at home and practice, like, our spelling bee for college. And Lord help us if we make a mistake. That's what I'm saying. Like, we are typically a teacher's pet, and you guys typically, like, you know, you get ignored to do your own fucking thing. But, um... You have to remember, this isn't going to go away until you might have to invest something into this. Like, you can give up all you want, sure, but it's not helping you cut all the ties. Having bad memories, sure, that's understandable, but don't let your bad in m memories influence you to try to go against something that's not going to be helpful f to you to begin with, you know? Like, you might be ready for flight, but that does not mean that you should just keep charging ahead without noticing the anything. Never. There are messages and shit everywhere. So say it to Lord David Bowie. But I will see you guys later. This is your reading. Bye-bye.